Can you believe that next year marks the 40th year anniversary that the original Super Mario Bros. game came out on the Nintendo Famicom? You know, it's one thing for a game to usher in a whole new era of gaming, but it's another thing for a franchise to stick around as long as it has and still not get old and stale. While other franchises have gone by the wayside or only pop in every once in a while with a new entry, Mario has remained consistent. And how is that? By creativity. The developers of Nintendo, whether it's 2D or 3D, always try to shake things up and keep things new, fresh, and interesting. Now, it hasn't always worked out great for Mario, but for the most part it has. And another great example of that is the brand new Super Mario Wonder. Now, at first glance, this looks like your typical 2D Mario platformer, but when you crack the surface and dive right in, you find something pretty special. I'm Eugene Morris of the Brotherhood of Gaming, and here's our review of Super Mario Wonder. Mario and his friends are invited to their neighbors, the Flower Kingdom, at the behest of their ruler, Princess Florian. As a show of their capabilities, the prince demonstrates the power of their most treasured item, the Wonder Flower. Hey, that's a nice power-up. It would be a shame if someone stole it, said Bowser, King of the Koopa. Upon stealing it, he becomes a giant fortress. Okay. And imprisons the citizens of the land. What an asshole. Mario and the gang volunteer to save the day. Being guided by the prince, the heroes and heroines travel the land to scale obstacles, pound bad guys, and use nifty new gear along the way. On the map, you travel from one stage to another, and once selected, you find a game that's pretty familiar to old-fashioned 2D Mario action, but with plenty of twists. Now, you have the trusty power-ups like mushrooms and fire flowers, but you also have this new elephant transformation, which not only supersizes you, but also gives you the ability to stomp through obstacles, go through them with your trunk, and spit water at foes. Other nice power-ups include a bubble flower and a drill hat for giving some enemies a slip. Now your main goal is to collect these wonder seeds in order to unlock new areas in the game. Now this is something that we've seen before in previous Mario games, you know, basically collect the bones. Now you get one automatically when you complete a stage. The hidden in these stages are very special ones, and when you find them, this happens. <laughs> Suddenly, you're in this alternate dimension where this... I don't even know how to describe this, but it is a thing of beauty. This adds a whole new layer of fun. These wacky obstacle courses add new challenges and makes you want to play these stages over and over again. You see, that's the main strength of this game. Replayability. Even when you beat the game, you still want to go back to the levels and look for all the wonder seeds you've missed just in order to experience what it's going to throw at you. Each level you come across has its own puzzles to solve. Like this one, where you have these creatures that mimic your jumps, and you'll need to use them at the right times in order to advance. Now, Some levels even have the ability to warp you to the background and to the foreground. It is a 2D game, but the developers stretch out the two dimensions as far as they possibly could. Another fun aspect to this game are the badges that you can acquire. When you equip these badges, you'll be given another ability to help you through your journey. And there's even levels where you can challenge these abilities to get you some more Wonder Seeds. A common one I use quite a bit is the Floating Hat. But another nice badge is also the Automatic Mushroom. Here, when you start a level, you automatically grow to big size just in case you're small. It's a nice cushion as you begin your trek. Now keep in mind, not all levels are created equal. The further you go, the tougher they get. 
especially the secret ones where you have to rely heavily on all of what you've learned. As you go through the game, you find castles where you have to duke it out with Bowser Jr. With your victory, you receive a royal seat, and each one you get will take away a cloud piranha that's protecting Bowser. Once they're all gone, you can face him head on. This beat slaps. Now you have 12 playable characters that you can choose from, but really there's two main sets. The Yoshis and Nibla do not take any damage, but they cannot use any power-ups, while the other seven are the exact opposite. I find that no character really has their own unique ability, but there are plenty of options with the badges and powers where you can easily customize your chosen character to your liking. But I do gotta say, the ones that really steal the show are these little flower guys you meet along the way. They mostly have random things to say, but every once in a while they can hip you to a clue that's nearby. Now of course, this game has beautiful graphics. I mean, just look at it. It's brilliant. An outstanding array of cheer and colors. Now what really sets this entry apart compared to others are the fine details, like when you increase in size or how the Koopas look at you with intensity when you get too close. And of course, when you enter the funky dimension, the graphics just get cranked up to 11. It's a pure assault on the visual senses. Music also plays a nice role in this game as well. Sometimes the beats can actually have an effect on certain levels, so make sure to keep your ears open. Along with multiple modes and the ability to play online, Super Mario Wonder just offers so much. It shows you what really makes Mario games special. It's their ability to offer something new while keeping the same tried and true formula. Now, is this my new favorite Mario game? Well, that's tough to say. There are so many that just hit right for me. Let's just say this game reaches that sweet spot in my old gamer heart. Can I recommend it to old Mario fans? Absolutely. New ones? Sure. I feel this is a game that can be learned relatively easily and absolutely enjoyed by the masses. So as a Mario player for more than 30 years, I give Super Mario Wonder an easy recommendation. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to keep track of all of our TVOG goodness. Again, I'm Eugene Morris with the Brotherhood of Gaming. We'll see you next time, and as always, keep on gaming.